Hey, this is Hallie with Artsy Shark, and today we're delving deep into a pivotal aspect of marketing your small business, creating a memorable artist brand. Whether you're just starting out or looking to revamp, stick around for some invaluable insights. First things first, choosing a business name. It's the cornerstone of your brand. Opt for something unique, easy to remember, and reflective of your style. Consider its phonetic appeal, how it looks in different thoughts, and how it aligns with the vibe you want to convey. Your name is your first impression, so make it memorable. A great choice would be to use your real name as your business name. However, if you have a very common name or a name that's just impossible to spell, you may want to come up with something completely new or just use part of your name, like your first name. If you're feeling stuck brainstorming name ideas, you can use ChatGPT to get some ideas you may not have thought of. For example, let's type in, what are a few business name ideas for a fine artist who creates landscapes of the Western US in oil paint? And here's the instant answer from ChatGPT. Once you've decided on the perfect name for your small business, run it through Google to ensure somebody else isn't already using it or has already copyrighted this business name. Also, that way in the future, when people search your unique business name, the results on Google are all yours. You could also come up with a unique tagline for your art business. A tagline is a memorable motto or phrase that's designed to serve as a permanent expression of your company's greater purpose and mission. This is of course optional. Here's a few tips and tricks for creating a tagline. You want it to be honest and something that you can realistically deliver on. Don't use something that's boring or cliche. You will want this to be professional, original, and unique. Keep it short and sweet, three to six words max. And you want to focus on your core services with your tagline. Logos are a great choice for artists, but are not the only option. So let's go through a few examples of options for a professional profile picture. First, let's talk logos. Your logo is like your artistic signature. It should be distinctive, capturing the essence of your work. Consider symbols, fonts, and colors that not only represent you, but also resonate with your target audience. Your logo is the visual shorthand for your brand, so invest time in creating something unique and memorable. Let's take a look at a thought experiment. If you had to assign the name of either Kiki or Boba to these two shapes, which name would go with which shape? If you thought the spiky shape would be named Kiki and the curvy shape Boba, then you're in the majority. When everything works in harmony, the name fits the visual look. You can use a platform like Fiverr to hire a graphic designer to create a custom logo and get a professional to assist you with the look and design, or simply have that person make the vision you already have come to life. You could also design your own logo using a platform like Canva, either completely creating your own design from scratch or using one of their many established templates. A really cool idea to use instead of a logo as your social media profile image is a self-portrait done in your own distinctive style. Chingzu Lin is an artist with a classical approach to watercolor technique. His fun, smiling self-portrait adds such a personal touch to represent his brand online. Robert Edlin's detailed and realistic pastel self-portrait is another such image, a beautiful representation of his artwork that would be the perfect profile picture. Another easy choice for a profile photo to represent you well would be to use an editing platform like Canva or even Microsoft Paint to simply put text on top of your artwork. This would work best if you were an abstract artist or had work that is not too busy to overlay text onto. It has to be easily readable. Lori Brogan's vibrant abstract painting looks fabulous with her white overlaid text. This font choice is consistent in not only her logo, but her website as well. Lastly, another classic option for a great way to represent yourself is maybe the most obvious. Use a professional photo of yourself where you look great. Have a friend or family member use a high quality camera to take your picture, possibly in your studio or posing with your artwork behind you. 
When you look great in the photo, your confidence in yourself and your artwork will shine brightly. You could also use this image on your website's about page as well. Colors play a vital role in shaping perceptions. Choose a palette that complements your art and invokes the right emotions. Think about the psychology of colors, how they can convey warmth, energy, or tranquility. Consistency is key. Use these colors across your logo, website, and social media. This creates a visual harmony that your audience will associate with your brand. Looking at these colors, what famous brands come to mind? You probably immediately thought of one or two. It's crazy how effective this marketing can be. You could use monochromatic colors, complementary colors, analogous colors, split complementary, triadic, or tetradic. Let's look at a few artist examples. If you are a photographer, like Robin Zeigelman, who specializes in high contrast color and black and white street photography, this high contrast black and white logo is a great fit for her brand. Her font choices make this logo look very professional with the juxtaposition of script font and all caps. Looking at her website, this logo works seamlessly with the visual aesthetics of her artwork. If you're an artist like Kathy Kehoe Bambach, who uses whimsical colors and elements to create garden illustrations for licensing on puzzles, a soft salmon pink logo featuring a butterfly is a great choice for her small business. Just by looking at her logo, you already have an idea of what her artwork looks like. You can utilize a platform like PicMonkey to create a customized brand color palette. Now let's talk emojis, the modern hieroglyphics of our digital age. Using emojis works best when they complement the style of your work. For example, if your work is fun, colorful, or contemporary, full steam ahead. If you could choose a business name that has the perfect emoji already available, you can then use them to brand your work. For example, if you're a painter with the business name Magic Paintbrush, you could use these emojis in your marketing, as if they were customized just for you. Pick a few that resonate with your brand and then use them consistently across your social media captions, emails, or even your website. It adds a personal touch that makes your online presence more memorable. Don't go overboard though. There is such a thing as too many which could distract from your artwork and writing. A great example of this is the soap maker Double Cherry Soap Works. The cherries emoji seamlessly ties into the name, logo, packaging, and marketing for this small business. A customized soap stamp literally stamps this logo onto their product. This trains their audience that whenever somebody sees cherries, they will think of Double Cherry Soap Works. Your brand should complement your artistic style and not overshadow it. If your art is vibrant and energetic, let that reflect in your branding. Consider incorporating elements from your artwork into your branding. This alignment creates a seamless connection between your creations and your brand, making it authentic and relatable. Carrie Cook has a great website, especially color-wise. I just love the way the color of the orange in her logo ties in perfectly to her detailed and expressive orangutan portraits. Absolutely stunning use of color here on her part that creates such a cohesive overall look. Now let's talk about advertising, the stage where your brand takes center stage. To be memorable, you need to stand out. Utilize eye-catching visuals, share behind-the-scene glimpses of your creative process, and consider collaborations with fellow artists or influencers. Being memorable is about creating an experience, so aim to leave a lasting impression. Yasmin Beham has a very Eastern meditative feel to her art and a message about her personal transformation. Her content speaks from the heart with a positive and tranquil tone. The language used on her social media post carries through to her website, giving a seamless feel to the visitors who are attracted on Instagram and want to learn more. Writing style matters too. Whether it's your posts, emails, or captions, maintain a consistent tone. 
It's about creating a voice that your audience can recognize and relate to. If your brand is playful and quirky, let that reflect in your writing. If it's more serious and contemplative, carry that through to your text. What are three adjectives that you would describe your own style as? Keep those in mind when you're writing. This consistency builds a stronger connection with your audience and highlights your individual personality. A great example of an artist who has mastered this is Diana Fritzler. Optimism and positivity define her brand, mirroring the vibrant colors in her artwork. Signing up for her email list is such a treat for anyone who receives her updates because she adds her humor, personality, and upbeat take on life to everything she writes. In her newsletter emails, she has also started a book club within her community where they share advice for good reads and discuss the latest bestsellers. Adding a fun touch like this showcases who she is and what she loves, and it's no wonder people enjoy reading what she writes. For your own email newsletters, carry your branding into your email marketing. It's a direct line to your audience. You can use templates that align with your brand, making your emails an extension of your overall artistic narrative. Let's put this into practice. Your website is your digital home. Ensure your branding is prominent. Use your logo, colors, and fonts consistently. On social media, every post should feel like a piece of your larger artistic puzzle. Consider creating templates for posts that align with your brand, making your content easily recognizable in a sea of digital noise. Artist Dana Weekly of Nine Tomatoes is a fabulous example here. Her Instagram is amazing. I just love the thoughtful way she has curated the posts on her profile page. And her website is super consistent as well. Her artwork is immediately recognizable and so full of energy. Creating a memorable artist brand is going to make your work stand out and be instantly recognizable. It's about crafting an identity that echoes your passion and resonates with your audience. Remember, consistency is your superpower here. From your business name to your emojis, let every element tell the story of your artistic journey. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button to get more content like this about the business of art. If you'd like to be a featured artist on Artsy Shark, hit the link in the description to subscribe to our email newsletter and be the first to know about new calls for artists. Plus, get free tips and tricks on business and marketing straight to your inbox. Thanks so much and see you next time.